Testing one two three four. Testing one two three four. Good. Welcome back to my playthrough of Uncharted Three: Drake's Deception. We are going to continue the story. Uh, last last time we went through the the ship level, the shipyard level, from the abandoned shipyard to to our enemy's own ship. That was an awesome level. That was like. It could be rivaled to the train level from Uncharted 2 if it. Here, my only. My, I felt like its only shortcoming is it's. It doesn't feel as relevant to the story as the train level did. But other than that, it was a great sequence. Let's see how well it follows up to that. I go under. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, let's set it down. Exploring time. Oh yeah, they got Sully. Oh we Looks like there's a way out on the other side. I can't let them keep Sully. I mean if it was Chloe maybe they can we can just leave it and call it a day, but not Sully. Sully is a national treasure. Oh crap. Yeah, I'm used to it. Yeah, great. Hey, somebody left this Looks here like to show me the way. But well, we need a way up. Okay, let's just maybe drive this truck over there. Come on, Elena, help me push. Oh. If I put it in neutral, I think we can push this. Here, I'll I was here. fucking joking. There, there's gotta be other options that. Are you fucking kidding me? Doing great, Elena. Uh, coming up a bit of a slope. Did you guys even check if maybe the key oh, is in the hole? Almost there. Keep going. Did you bother to look for keys? <laughs> That's what Keep I going. said. <laughs> Alright, hold it steady. I'm gonna climb on top. It's. Uh, I feel like it's pretty amazing. The game presents these ridiculous scenarios, but are actually, but actually really self-aware about all this. Ow! My fingers. It's like the game knows exactly what a gamer might be thinking about at, at moments like this. That's really cute. Hello. Uh, okay. Elena. Man, that's a big plane. Okay. I guess that's where we're Hold going. I'll open the door. Be careful, okay? I can hear two guys. Should I drop down from here? Yeah, I think so. I just need a safe spot so I don't fall to my death. Or maybe it will be I'll just be alright. Okay, I'm alright. Um Hey, that's my girlfriend. Turns out you didn't need me to open the door at all. You guys are lining up, you know that, right? Ow. Shit. Ah, man. I got flanked. That's a really stupid place Thanks. to die. Where's my? 
Where's my Shit, fucking yeah, gun? Behind you. Oh, this is bad. I need a weapon. Thank you. Ow! What's going on? Who's using cannon on me? I'm just one guy, Jesus. Overreacting much? He's got to be here. Somebody's thinking about me. Hmm. Ow! Wrong direction. You okay? Yeah, you? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Same thing? Yeah. I think we can do the same thing. I got like one bullet left in my handgun. There we go. Oh, dude, I don't want a silenced pistol. I'm never going to stay stealthy, no matter what stealthy weapon you give me. Crap. Totally jammed. We're gonna have to get over somehow. How about we climb this thing and jump out? Seems like an idea. No? Okay. That means I'm not thinking big enough. Knowing Nathan Drake, and there's a slope leading directly to the door, we're probably going to crash it open with something. Where's uh, how about the truck? Let's push the truck all the way here and use that to slam open the door. That's an idea. Oh, we're, pu we're pushing this truck. Great. Glad to see you have a single track of mind, Elena. That's a key to success. Oh, it's slipping. It's slipping. It's supposed oh, 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 to. Oh, oh, crap. That's bad. That's really, really bad. Oh. Get down. I think it's a little late for getting down. Unless they're idiots. Oh my god, those guys are idiots. Elena, you're not... That's not gonna do jack shit, Elena! Fuck it. Okay. Okay! So intense, it's almost like a real gunfight. Psych! It isn't. It's okay, Elena, we're in the clear. Up here. Okay, stealth move. Nobody shall know I'm here. Damn it! How many of them are there? Too many. We just have to get through here as quietly as possible. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. <gasps> What's that shit? We've been spotted. Oh no! Hey. They're too They're perceptive. <laughs> we gotta take these. Keep your head down. Oh 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 shit! God damn it. Okay, stealthy, I got it. I'm like totally stealthy. Oh shit. <laughs> Did they see me? Oh, I guess my... I guess it actually worked. Wow. I am... 
a man of many wonders. <laughs> Oopsie. No! Put that down, Nathan. We don't need that. Not yet. Oh, a s sniper. That's pretty badass, I guess. You guys. Shit. You've been spotted. Uh oh. It's okay, I think. Oh, shit. I think we got it. Where are you going? Oh no. Shit. Why are you always fucking running? He's finished. I hate it when they do that. I hate it when they rush me. It's a fucking firefight! Stop running around! I mean, it worked for them. Granted, but it only worked for them because the game mechanic isn't made for this! They really are idiots. Oh no, they're looking at each other. That's bad. This is the only occasion where this is bad. Oh shit. I don't know if I want the sniper. I don't know if I, I will need it. I mean, maybe not immediately. Hey, someone's over here. Ah, uh, this is where I will be missing the silencer, you know. Shit. Come on. There goes the element of surprise. Okay, I'm retreating. Keep your head down. Did I mention that their weapon really fucking hurts? Hey! Stop it! Get out of there! Nathan! I can't get out of the fucking animation! Jesus! I die of that every fucking time! Might as well just start shooting. I mean, what's the point? Here's the thing. When I press the melee button, there's a pretty good chance it's going to do exactly what it just did, which is a completely stealthy move. But once in a while, he decides to start a punch, and I have no control over that. 
There are many moments where I feel like it could he could reasonably do a stealthy move, but he ends up just wildly punching people and give up our position. Like this one here. Okay, this it worked this time. Oh hey, is this a silencer? Oh, that's going to make things easier. Okay. You're dead. Oh, there's still a lot of them. And they got a grenade launcher. There we go. Nice and easy. Now the last two guys are probably gonna get a little tricky. They're standing together. Ah, shit. Been spotted. So yeah. yeah. There goes the element of surprise. At least keep your head down. And there's a lot more of them now. So there's really no chance of of it being a completely stealthy level with those two guys standing together. Maybe there are ways to like lure them away? I, I don't know. Okay. Shit. Dude, that was so uncool. Okay. What the hell? Hey, Elena. Get out of there, baby. What is your fucking problem? Oh. Oh, no. That's just naughty. Someone is using a grenade launcher on me. Get out of here, Glena. Oh, you bloody idiot. I'll take that, thank you.
so I guess we're going to the warehouse. Are we? We're almost there. It's just over that roof. Got it. We're not going over the warehouse. Oh, we're going to the plane. That is a big one. Can't go up. Straight chat from here. Yeah. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna climb to the top, then I'll help you over. All right. Keep me covered. Okay. <clears throat> hey, what are you, what are you doing? Helena, listen. Oh, damn it! I knew oh. you would try something like no, this. Don't. Please. Nate, what are you doing? Let's be honest. This is a this is a million to one shot. When I almost lost you before, You're not good. I, I just can't do that again. So take that jeep over there and get the hell out of here, all right? You're not or giving her enough credits, Nate. I can never do. You haven't got much time. Go. I feel like she might turn up again. Uh, I want to get on the train. I mean, the plane. Plane, wait for me. I don't know if I should be just running like this. I'm obviously chasing the plane, but I got people fucking shooting at me, and they're really close at killing me. Um, evasive maneuver, zigzagging it out. Of course. I got you. Come on. Hey, hey, Jabu, right? Yeah. Just get me up to the landing gear. How about a goodbye kiss? Okay. Is there any place to get in? Oh, we're getting in from the wheels. That is so Hollywood. Fast and furious! Kids, if you're watching, don't do this. Only Tom Cruise would probably try this in real life. In fact, I'm almost afraid of giving him any ideas. I feel like the next, the next Mission Impossible movie that he's going to make, he's gonna die on set. Like, that... Uh, I really shouldn't put a curse on him or something, but the way it's going... There's a very good chance he's going to die doing one of his movies. He already broke his feet. Uh, one foot. He already broke his foot during uh, Mission Impossible 6. And that shot was kept in the movie. I mean, it's admirable and 
The end result is spectacular. You have to give him that. It does make a difference. Ow. Uh, can I can I fight back? Hey! What the fuck? Oh, it's you who's going out of that door, buddy. Oh! Okay, you're done. Now that I'm in control, you have no chance anymore. I can only be defeated by the plot. Go on. Get get down. I'm not kidding. Get the fuck off this plane. This is my plane. Down we go. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't push him down and he keeps getting up. Motherfucker. Oh, I see what we're doing. You know, this is totally unnecessary, right? And it's... And it's dangerous to yourself. You could have just kicked him down, Nathan. But you have to be dramatic. Are you seriously fucking still shooting at me? It's okay, it's the desert, they're still alive. Nathan didn't kill anyone, not that he cares. Power is gone. Have you ever heard a phrase that the best kind of dramatism is the unnecessary kind? It's true. Wow. Nathan Drake just got crushed to death by a fucking cargo box. Damn it. That was all I got. Guys, I don't think we should be having this firefight like right here, right now. Jesus. At least it's another stage. Why wouldn't you get into cover, Nathan? There we go. That's most of them. Ah, but then there are you guys. So we destroy the plane. <laughs> Was that the plan? Are we really supposed to be looking <laughs> to destroy the plane? Oh, the parachute. Ah, oh, safe and soft landing. Oh, thank God.
Why did we try to get on the plane again? Is it to find Sully? Because this is not where the plane should be landing. The Rubal Kali. If I let go right now, would I die? Shall I try it? Uh, what's that shadow that just got past me? Oh, the box. Hmm, you got... Footsteps on the sand. Looks, looks okay. Roll marks look. This roll marks distinguishable. Good. Well done, Naughty Dog. Even though look, the sand itself looks a little weird. It's like the pattern is too obvious. I don't know. Maybe that's really how sand looks like in the desert. I've never seen it with my own eyes. A lot of things we complain about special effects looking fake or uh, look just looking generally unreal. Oh, this is the title, title screen. Uh, it's actually amazing how a lot of the things in real life, they actually appear kind of surreal. Are we looking for Pandora's box? Are we about to climb Kronos for three days? Well, you you may you might know what I'm talking about, or you might not. Oh, I'm supposed to be walking. I thought it, it was still a cutscene. Well, this is fun. Uh, Uncharted just became... Uh, Uncharted just became a side-scroller. You're gonna have to roll down the sand, buddy. It's gonna come to that. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, and there's a little sand that's rolling down the hill. That's fucking awesome. It feels like someone is using paint brushes to stroke down like a Bob Ross painting hey a colony or of some sort <laughs> or is the sand. maybe it's okay. just a bit of rots but hey Beats, beats so, nothing. Let me just find some, some more. Some more. Uh, let me look at you, buddy. Wow, you don't look good. You look like you're taking the shit, man, and not quite being successful. Ha! I can still shoot. Oh well. Oh well, well, well. Oh thank God. Damn it, Sully. I'm <laughs> gonna remember that shit forever. Bring it on it's gonna be a bucket of sand, isn't that. it? God damn it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go. 
gotta be kidding me. Well, we're gonna die. Now what? Hey, maybe there's some water in the jar. Are you gonna check it out? Oh, you're not. Where are we even going? Like, what direction am I supposed to be going? I get lost in cities, so don't even think about putting me in the desert. That's beautiful. Hi. Where are you, Sally? Uh. Wait. There was some puzzle. Oh, Nate. Okay, there's, there's a ride. It's a big dipper. This really looks pretty. <sighs> Shit. Should have been in the Navy. Hmm. There was a puzzle about stars before. This is not gonna be a real thing. That's that's not gonna be Sully. That's sourly. As in you're gonna be sourly disappointed. Do you do you get it, Nate? Please get it. Oh, some, there's gonna be some revelation after this hill, aren't there? And uh, probably not. Oh shit! Let's keep going. Yeah, I, I wouldn't really trust your senses right now. So, is this even real? What are the roots that clutch? What branches grow out of this stony rubbish? Who's talking? Son of man, you cannot say or guess. For you know only a heap of broken images. It's the well. Where the sun We're beats back? and the dead tree gives no shelter. The cricket no relief and the dry stone no sound of water. Oh man, this sucks so Damn, fucking bad. Circles. Maybe we Shit. Maybe there's a path down God. there. Damn it, Nate. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Well, that sucked, balls. Okay, gotta keep going. under this red rock come in under the shadow of this red rock I don't want to I feel like that's just gonna be a slightly better place to die is the game testing me is it testing my will to survive Yeah, everything does look a little bit red. Okay, I'll go. But if it turns out to be a test, I'm gonna say I told you so. Even though I still completely fell for it. And I will show you something different. From either your shadow at morning striding behind you, or your shadow at evening rising to meet you. I will show you fear in a handful of dust. If it pleases you. 
Oh, we're on our way again. Ah, oh, this really is going nowhere. No, don't lie down. Don't, not now. He lay down. Ah, oh, he looks so old, but it's just the sand. Nate. Nate. Hey, Sorry. buddy. You're not real. Wake up. I know you're not real. No, don't Come on. leave me, me alone. Let me rest. You're gonna turn into sand when I touch you. I've been looking for you. I couldn't find you. I'll keep I looking. Don't know how long I've been out here. But think. So I. Sorry. Wow, that's just fucking typical. <laughs> okay. We need a freaking miracle somehow. Which is going to happen, by the way. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, something's happening. Oh, we have the strength to run now. Wow, that really brought upon the brought out the whole sense of hardship of crossing the fucking desert. Wait a second. Uh, no been a oh, here we are. Yeah, I thought that would have been too cruel. Uh, I'm not sure this is an active village, man. No. Oh, shit. It's a ghost. Yeah, everybody died of thirst here. <laughs> Congratulations. The settlement. I really like this sequence. I mean, it could have just been a montage it could have been a five second scene showing him walking shambling in the it's desert and then fade to white and the next sequence it will be him reaching this place but no it took its time it really made its impression on how desperate it is that's why I love Naughty Dog Like, they take narrative in video games seriously. Ancient Alabaster Ebex. I know what ancient means. Other than that... Well... I feel like I don't have to know to understand the spirit behind it. I can do that. Yeah, I already, I already found another location. Don't you worry about that. I hope you still have the strength to climb. Of course you do. Another treasure, a coin of the Kataban Kingdom. Thank God, well. Okay. What kind of well is this? Damn it! Damn it! It's dry. Maybe. This, there's going to be something at the end of it. Here we go. Okay, drink it up. Ah, 
undrinkable. Why not? I mean, why? Fuck it. It's, who cares if it's undrinkable? Am I going back? I don't think so. Oh. Sure. I mean, every great adventurer has to go across the desert at least once in their lives. It's kind of a rite of passage, right? Gotta be something useful here. That's the spirit. <laughs> oh shit. Um, like? This is awkward. Okay, need a gun. Where's your gun? You had one. All right, got it. Ow. Jesus. What the hell are Marlos meant doing here? That means this place is like important. I forgot about throwing the grenade again. There we go. Flush him out. No, no, no. Fuck you, man. All right, three bullets. Got to make them out. Shit. Oh, the pencil just flew into my hand. Yeah. I, I trust in the force. Here we go. Why not? Uh, do they know I'm here? Turns out we had some very similar tracks of mine. What the hell happened? To look for the plane. Well, I can lead them to the plane. No, I can't. I don't know the way. I know what I'm doing good. Okay, though. Okay, D. What's the phrase? I don't know. You know you can just shoot me, right? Damn it, I'm trapped down here. Are you though? Are you ever trapped anywhere? Okay, let's make it happen. Did that do it? Come on. I I thought for sure that was going to work. 
Oh yeah, it works. You just need need a little bit more. There's gotta be a way out of here. Ow. Motherfucker. Oops. Shit. This is getting ridiculous. A three. What the hell? You're giving me a sniper. That makes me very uneasy. Damn it! I've had enough of these assholes. Oh man. Push him out! Oh crap! Send me right back. Oh shit. That's oh, not no, gonna. No. Oh shit. Come on! That could help. Uh, oh, no. fuck you. There we go. Oh, shit. Much. what I needed. Yeah, I needed ammo. That's what I needed. I'll keep the mag. Shit! He's really good at dodging me. Or maybe I just suck. One of the two. This is the game loading. Okay. Hopefully that's the last thing. Shouldn't have said that out loud, mate. Have you learned nothing from all your adventures? Come on. Oh, that's how we're gonna win this. Oh shit, I, I didn't see that one. Well, that was a mistake. I'm not gonna be able to make it a lot of times. There we go. Come on, give me more. There we go. Oh no. F 
fuck? I don't want to. Did I take out a machine gun? Uh, somehow I did. I didn't even see that. I was looking forward to it. Okay, apparently someone is... No, no, no. You son of a bitch. Are you fucking kidding me? After all that. That's what- that's what's going to kill me? What the hell? Okay, so it was a pretty big thing that killed me. grenades do they each have? Aw oh, man Fuck it, no ammo again. Well, that was a waste of RPG, but you know, emergency times. Beggars can be choosers. Might come in handy? Eh, just might. What about a handgun though? I have no like secondary weapon. It keeps giving me RPGs. Is that going to am I going to need it? But I can't but I can't go on without any regular ammo, so I'm just gonna have to pray for it. Well Nathan is probably completely sustained by a sheer will of survival right now. Okay. This is it. This is it. Let's do this. I didn't do a lot. Oh. English. What? English. I speak English. Uh. Hey. Speaking English isn't a crime around here, right? What's going on? Oops. No, no. This is bad. Hey, good horse. I'm just gonna follow Lawrence of Arabia here. Which gate? Oh, you want me to... Oh, 
Was I supposed to shoot the gate? Ah, That's all I know. Is that tea or coffee, or a mixture of both? I'm curious about the weirdest things. You are far from home, America. Shukran. You do not belong out here. Any of you. How many more? You spared me. Oh, he means Why those guys. Why not just guys. kill me along with the others? That would have been impolite. You are in distress. Even an enemy must be fed and sheltered. Are you my enemy, American? Hmm. Drake. Hmm? My name. It's uh, Drake. Salim. I am Sheikh of this tribe. Well, I uh, don't mean to be forward, Salim. But I need a horse. I don't have anything to offer in return. You plan to attack the English caravan alone? You know about them. My scouts have been tracking Ooh. them for two days. I'm gaining allies. Why are you here? Why do the English cross the Rub al Khali? They're looking for the lost city of Ubar. You're out of the pillars. They've taken my friend hostage. He's the only one who knows the way. Once they find Aram, they'll be worthless to them. They'll kill him. If they find Aram, we are all dead. Oh, it's that kind of story again. Three thousand years so, ago. Legend is, is true. King Solomon commanded the power of the jinn. No, not the jinns. Born of smokeless fire. Until they rebelled. He imprisoned them in a vessel of brass and cast it into the depths of the city. Iran became a place of evil. Cursed by the tormented spirits of the jinn. The English must not reach the city. If they unleash the power of the jinn, we don't have much time, do we? No. But they have the greater numbers. We cannot attack them in the open. Tonight, rest. Tomorrow, they enter the canyons. We'll take them there. We ride at dawn. Okay, I guess it's dawn. No. Chapter 20, Caravan. Oh, the scenery is great. Stay close, stay close. I'm a little... Feels a little weird that... The hooves are almost uh, in sync between the two horses. Are we the only one? Salim, is it much farther? We are nearly there. The convoy will be up ahead. I thought we would be amassing an army to attack the convoy. It's a convoy. Oh, careful, but this careful. is awesome. There they are. The convoy is right below. We have to hurry. Uh, is this really a job for two? Am I supposed to be shooting at them? Why is he telling me that? This is a shortcut. Just stay with me. Come on, we're nearly there. Come on. Hey, I want to take them little the motorcycle. Get I'll get the one on the left. <laughs> ah, that was my motorcycle. Anyway, 
Uh, Sabine? Oh, there he is. Am I supposed to be... Yeah. Am I supposed to be getting back on my horse? Why is the driver still even driving? Shit. You make friends really fast, Nathan. There we go. Ah, oh, this is such a cool sequence. Get down, you! It wouldn't get in the cover, I don't know why. This happened several times already. Are you shooting a fucking RPG on a horse? What is wrong with you? Oh shit. Die, you bastard. Uh. Here we go. I see why this is a job for two. Because only two would fucking pump. Well, that put an end to it. Hey. Roadkill. <laughs> Come on! Give me your hat! Aw, that's a good pal. Oh. I'm gonna have to be the eyes. Those are those are our guys, right? Jesus, man. Uh need cover, need need to take cover quick. Fuck, I was like one second too late. I gotta say those dr those truck drivers they, they they really do their job. They take this job really seriously. Good job. I didn't even see where the horse was. <laughs> I was so confident. We're almost to the front. Sullivan! Sully, you in there? Sully! Ah! 
Oh, oh. That's awesome. Wow. Sully's like commandeering that jeep. Uh, no, the truck. Oh, shit. I got you. I got you covered. Mother fuck. I can't shoot him. He won't let me shoot him from this angle because Sally is in the way. Okay, I gotta get on myself. Ah, it's good to have friends. Oh shit. Even though sometimes they're just completely unhelpful. Give it to him. Yeah, we're going pro wrestling style. And let's be honest, both look completely unconvincing. <laughs> Ooh. We hardly knew, yay! Sure, they killed you, kid. Well, they tried, right? <laughs> so, how the hell did you find me all the way out here? I had some help. Salim. Uh, Sullivan, thank you. We haven't much time. We cannot allow them to reach the city. Oh, I, I don't know. He's right, Nate. I've been trapped with those crazy bastards for days. I don't know what the hell it is Marlowe's after exactly, but it sure as hell ain't treasure. We gotta stop them. Drake, we must go now. Saving the world. <laughs> Ah, Chloe would be so happy. Why change now? Yeah. Aww. Man, straight ahead. Into the storm? Are you sure you know what you're doing? Trust me, Drake. Trust me. Kind of hard to. What a day! What a lovely day! Drake, where are you? Fuck, we lost Sully, Sully again? Sully, oh no, close. he's there. He lost the lean though. Where's Sully? Must have lost him! Good job! It's your second time lost in the desert in one day. You don't We might have to eviscerate the horses to keep us warm in the night. Oh no, not this shit. Not this shit again. It's the convoy. Hang back, Sully. I'll go check it out. You got it. Oh yeah, I'll go check it out. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, Sully! Oh shit. That was not a fair open fight. Still, I'm gonna stick to my guns. Ooh, a sniper. That's good. I wanna snipe people. Shit. Ah. Uh.
Run. Shit. Shit! Ah, oh, man. That was bad luck. That was a lot of bad luck. I think the general idea was alright. Sorry, take him down. What the hell? I can't. I can't get out of this. This is ridiculous. I don't. I don't get to melee him at all. But I can't get out of it either. What, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think the melee rules in this game are really fucking fucked up. Oh shit. Well, that just doesn't help the matter, does it? Man. The problem I'm having with these guys is they have too many superpower beings. Crap. Ah, oh, this again? This is a fucking open area, man. Stop with these Terminators. <sighs> I'm gonna try to reserve the, the sniper rifles with. Ah, oh, fuck. Sally, cover me! Oh my god, no! Oh, I'm gonna die a thousand more times here. I, is this truck seriously the only cover here? That guy again. Maybe they can't see me after I run run away farther. Have they lost track of me yet? Ah, oh, not exactly. Oh no. Ah! There's no place to recover. That's my biggest problem. And 
Even though they clearly have no trouble tracking me, the desert is giving me problem tracking them. Finally! Oh well. Sally, you good? Sally, get out of here. This is my cover now. Ah, it's okay. We're good. Just like we were. Oh man. Uh oh, I like that thing, but pack eighty. But it's just got too few ammo for me to go on. I will never pick up another Gmo ever again. Oh crap. Steady. Uh it's not that easy, Sully. What the hell? Yeah, that sounds good. You got an idea where I can find one? What? Fuck me. RPG, RPG. Guy's still alive. Shit! This is not over anytime soon, is it? Yeah, but where do I find RPG? Anything up on the 
squad? Apparently not. Ah, uh, this is a this is a suicide. Oh fuck! Come here. Get in the get in the cover, and we can duke this out. However you want to. Okay, here we go. We're in business. This is not gonna work, it has to be RPG. Shit. Oh, this is fucking hard. I mean, Uncharted games aren't known to be difficult, but this is really insane. Somebody has to be operating this. Did I get them? Fuck. Ow. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Maybe grenade would do. Maybe another grenade would do. And another. Come on! Nathan fucking threw. I threw back the grenade. I punched it accurately. And he threw the grenade right under his own fucking feet. Ugh. It would be better if you fucking tell me where I can get an RPG. Okay, okay from the RPG guys, I guess. What are you doing? That's one. What the hell? Yeah, I'm gonna assume that worked. Good gonna Ah oh. Man This would take forever. Oh 
man, there's not a single safe spot. Shut up, Zoe. Feel, is it just me or is Nathan Drake like so much more fragile in this in this one than the first two? Oh. Come on. Give me a fair fucking fight chance. I don't know if I can do this. Are you kidding me? Reloads his RPG faster than I can reload my magazine. Ah, oh, the fact that you still have to fucking worry about these fuckers. <sighs> you have to be so meticulous. Two grenades, same time. Oh, oh my god, this is just too much. Need another weapon. Good God. How do I even get up here? <sighs> Getting tired of this. If there's such a meticulous sequence of events that you have to make happen, it's not like Uncharted.
It's not like Uncharted to to have to make you just fucking remember the level. Take them down first. Oh, great. Wait a minute. Who the fuck would throw that? I think I can take that one. Wait. Good job, Sally. Wow. Sally's having a go with him. No! Okay, that works. What the hell? He's at a visible place, but I can't shoot him. Oh, I got him. I can't see him at all, but clearly he can see me. Do I still need an RPG? I'm confused. Did I get all of the trucks? Because I honestly can't tell. I mean, how can I when I can't see? Oh, God! Don't tell me I have to do that again. Don't tell me I have to do that again. Okay, I don't have to do all of that again. That's good news. Oh, shit. Uh, why are they suddenly everywhere? Like they were gone a minute ago. Well, I'm out. Sully, you, you, you go for the rest. <laughs> I'm a little exhausted here. Fucking grenade throwing bitch. I don't want that piece of shit weapon ever again. Let's see. 
god, I really can't see anything. Ah, uh, thank the Lord. Well, I clearly don't do well in deserts. getting another puzzle because it's been a while it feels like the first half of the game is entirely puzzles and the second half is entirely action oh hey managed to swipe your notebook back on the wall it might come in handy still got it it's only up here found something Uh, maybe I need Sully to. Maybe we each need to hold. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Sully, you stay here. I'll go for the other one. I'm sure there's another one. Hey! The Royal Game of Ur. Oh, this is a game board. Wow. That's really something. Um, now what? So I guess that was really just for a treasure. Bronze Sabine Bull Sculpture. <laughs> Sully, wait. Oh. He's climbing down. I didn't ask you to get down, Sully. Should be something about this. Sally, get your ass back up again. <laughs> I was just messing with you, but like, oh, you hold. On the other side. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll go see if I can get that one working. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grab this. You wait here. How am I supposed to get over there now? Oh, maybe just jump to this platform and here we go. Almost there. Yeah, almost. Like 
I'm already 40% there. Ready? Go! This is such an unnecessarily complex and dramatic fashion of opening a fucking door. <laughs> Good work. The words of Victor Sullivan, I'll be go to hell. Does he say that? Oh, I guess he does. How do I how do I get down? Hey, look at that. What's on the upper end of this? I guess we'll never find out. Oh, Chapter shit. 21, The Atlantis so of the Sands. <laughs> Wahoo! Oh, hey, guys. Oh, you didn't have to prepare all this for me. That's mighty nice of you. Hello, Sebo two one two one two. Glad to have you here. Okay, here's the plan, Sally. You jump and I follow. I swear I'll follow. Bronze man of Nash come. Yeah, whatever you say. <coughs> this really is a pretty place. Incredible. This is how the city could thrive all the way out here. So who main who maintains the the springs and everything? Who waters the plants? It's magic. It's clean. It's amazing. It's still running after all these years. Okay, that's always a good sign. Well, that's a hell of a thing. What? Which one of us is? No. Oops. <coughs> no. Please. Sully. <laughs> okay, if I didn't know any better, I'd say he is a. a he looks kind of dead. <laughs> oh, it's on, buddy. It's on. It's off. It was on very briefly. Great. Shit. Oh, come on. What are these guys made of? Are you seriously still alive right now? Oh, Jesus, what the hell is that? 
Oh, is that the fucking Ghost Rider? Oh, Nathan, the, the Jesus, the company you keep, man. I don't know what happened. Uh, so each of the soldiers get some kind of second chance. No, don't throw that shit at me. Ah, man. This sucks. Holy shit! Am I hearing Sully? No. Sully is dead. Could I still take them down hand to hand if they've, they've essentially become demons? Ow. Guess it is a little harder now. Hey, but if you. If any of you are a fan of Supernatural, then you know it's. F shit. But you know it's a fairly common thing for. for men to engage in hand to hand combat with. Demons and angels and ghosts and gods. Shit. What the hell even happened there? I'm pretty much just stalling for time to recover. Oh shit. This is so chaotic. Okay. This there are so many ways this could be disastrous. I guess I gotta go down and follow them. Oh, where's Sully? Maybe I do need a weapon with more ammo. That's always been my number one priority. Sully? Sully, where are you? Oh, this could potentially be very helpful. Acadian Stature Head. 
Missing an eye. Oh, maybe they just made it that way. Who knows? Hey, <laughs> why are you doing that, Nathan? Are you not sure which plane you're standing on? Is that a problem? Oh, you son of a bitch! Come back here, you son of a bitch! Yeah, that's what I said. You're dead! You hear me? You're dead! I'm chasing this motherfucker again. Oh, uh, this is different. This is awesome. Where the hell am I? It's coming. I haven't been here since I was a kid. Oh, flashback. Jeez. Oh no. This is not how your childhood went. Can't be happening. There wouldn't be any adulthood if this was the case. Oh crap. Nope. Nope. Leave me alone! Aw, oh, spiders don't fucking grow out of trees. Oh, we're here again. This is different than how it happened. No. no. Uh, I'm not gonna shoot Sully. Are you fucking kidding me? Nope, I won't do it. No. Stay away, please. Oh god. Oh no, what is this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same if I took the shot. Where am I? What am I doing? I'm on drugs. Is it the good kind? Ah, uh, no. I'm doing... I'm streaming. There are no good kind. Don't do drugs, kids. Let's jump all the way because it's way faster. Why are there a lot of skeletons here? Am I in the land of the dead? Oh hey! It's pretty lucky to get extra ammo when you're carrying the grenade launcher. Good thinking, Nate. What? Kill Sully. I'll kill you. You kill Sully. Was that it? No, never another Gmo. Fuck Gmo. It's really a weird choice of music. This is where I came from. No! What are you doing? I, I specifically said no 
No G more. Oh shit. Can't be real. Man. Are you I shot a grenade launch. I shot a grenade at you, man. That's like a commitment to for you to die. You can't just survive that. Man, what did he throw at me? Man, I am picking up the one weapon I swear I will never use again. Because it really sucks. What the hell? They explode upon death? Or God damn it. Why do I feel like I'm the only one who don't know how to use Gmail? Oh, no! What the hell now? Wow, it's so easy to die here. They can teleport anywhere, so taking cover is like almost pointless. How am I supposed to do this again? What the hell? I didn't see any sign of a grenade or anything. I don't know how I even died. Oh, would have been able to throw that back. Jesus! What was that? RPG? Oh, oh, can't be real. 
He won't get into cover. Fuck. Okay. Nope. No. Okay. We're regaining some semblance of control of the situation. Okay. Hold it together. Just hold it together. Come on. Did I do it? I think I did. Oh, now I have another one of these. Sully! Sully! Hey, Sully! No, no Sully! Don't follow the light! God damn it, never listen to me. Uh, this is so trippy. Admit it, Nathan, you pulled that lever simply because it was the only lever in the room. There is no prediction of the results. You did not plan this. Uh, is that me? Whoa. Am I standing here? Okay. Here we go, Shadow. I mean, Reflection. Uh, let's work together on this one. Ah. I see where you're getting to. Yeah, it works better when we are both doing it. What is that? Ah, it's nothing. It's completely normal. Oops. What is going on? What? Oh my god. Wow. Uh. Okay, where did this become surreal? Okay. Clearly. Did we get drugged again? The drug that they gave to Connor and gave to Nathan later, did we did they dose Nathan again? Is that what we saw? Is that why we saw Sally die? Cause I don't believe he's dead. You can't keep playing this card of teasing like, with Oh, something's happened to Sully because everybody loves Sully. Sully's been kidnapped. Sully's dead. You can't do that forever. Time to play, assholes. Chapter 22, The Dreamers of the Day. Oh, that's from the monologue from the beginning of the game. It's over, Drake. I'm sorry, I didn't I forgot that I was packing this. If you could believe that. Ah! You shit. Oh, I hate to be forced into a melee mode when when I don't have to. Damn it. I'm saving the grenade launcher for something else. Oh crap! Eat this! Oh man! Uh. 
See? I was saving it for a reason. Oh. Fuck! I did not see that. This again? Why do you fucking rush me when it's a fucking firefight? That's too close. Wow, that was still too close. I got you this time. Son of a bitch. Once again, this comes down to like dying a whole bunch of times and remembering exactly where en enemies pop up. Well, this was an easy one. Someone had something to say, huh? Whoa. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Shit is right. All right, assholes, you're wrong. Oops. Bye bye. Nah. I didn't know so many of you are still here. Wait, what the hell happened? Trust this one. Man, I had a hell of a time. What's the matter with you? How do I know you're real? Ow! <laughs> that real enough for you? <laughs> Don't ever point a gun at me again. I didn't shoot, so that's something, right? I saw them shoot you. Right after the eclipse. What? What eclipse? Look, kid, you went nuts right after you drank from that fountain. Oh. It's the water. That's what destroyed the city. Not the wrath of God. The whole water supply is tainted with some sort of hallucinogenic agent. Is it the, the same? Prove everyone mad. Is it the same drug that Talbot That's used? That's what Marlow and Talbot are after. But they already had it. They already had the drugs. Remember, Cutter said they controlled their enemies through fear. <laughs> Mr. Do it in space. Wow, that's really taking it in literal but, senses. Wait, it doesn't make any sense. How do they think they're getting the water out of here? No, no, it's not the water. It's what's in the water. Come again. Right, listen, Ingredient. Bear with me for a sec. Salim told me that Aram was cursed when Solomon imprisoned the evil spirits of the jinn inside a vessel of brass and then cast it into the depths of the city. A genie in a bottle. I know. So, Sounds poisoning the crazy. water system. So you reckon that's why Elizabeth and Dee sent Francis Drake out here in the first place? Yeah. It wasn't treasure they were after. It was power. Only once Drake realized what he'd been sent for, he abandoned the mission. He lied to the queen. 
told her he didn't find anything, and then hit all traces of his voyage. Rewrote history. Hmm. Well, who will we to argue with Sir Francis? When you say we head down there and end this thing? Once and for all. Let's nuke this place. It's the only way to be sure. Look at this place. The whole city's resting on this cavern. Doesn't look very safe, does it? That's an understatement. We gotta find a way down there. Yeah, obviously we have to pull this, so... Harry, you ready for this? Nope. Let's do it. I sense the end is nigh. Amazing. This is how they move the water to the surface. God, look at the ceiling here. I'm surprised the whole place hasn't come crashing down yet. I don't know how the hell it's still standing. Oh, a really nice place. I am so sorry that I have to destroy another holy place like this one. Golden Heaty Goddess. Is it me or are treasures found in this game like really diverse? We gotta get across there. Help me with this door. Like it, so diverse it almost doesn't make sense that it could be picked up in certain places. Ah. Where? Where is whatever this is coming from? Oh, down there. I see you. They didn't, they didn't turn into fire demons. That's a good thing. Oh, when did Solid get down there? Oh shit! Shit! Oh, new move. No, 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 no. Good job. There we go. Alright, all clear. Down this way. I'm really down on ammo, but I'm gonna keep these just because they're powerful. Ah, crap, Sully, we got more company. Man, fuck you already, Sally. I need, I need you to do better than a pathetic pistol with one bullet shot every five seconds. Okay, man, we're we're kind of in more. We're playing on a bigger league than that. Fuck you. Nope. Uh -oh. 
Hey, Sally, good job. Even though I'm not entirely sure what you did, I'm sure you did a good job. My compliment was based on confidence, not exactly performance. Okay, what the hell? Oh, this is where we're going. Oh, Who was throwing that? Well, Sally got a full blast, but he's okay. Diving suits? Are we going into the water too? Oh, this is one of those... Pressure guns? This I, I don't know the name of it. I don't know. I don't. I know very little uh, professional terms, which is a fact that is becoming ever more so obvious since I've started doing streams and forcing myself to talk. Sully, help me with this. We got to get through here. And it's not just because it's I'm speaking English, which is. Well, still a second language to me. I really don't know a lot of these specific professional academic terms. There's a central cistern. That's where they're going to be. You ready for this? Oh yeah. This is the bridge they were crossing. Must be where they're headed. Okay, let's cross the bridge. Yeehaw! <laughs> Don't mind me, Sully. <laughs> I'm walking. This is this is how I walk. Lift it gently. Let's take the woman Any out. Ideas? Yeah, bullet to the head. Well, they sure as hell got us outnumbered. Let's uh, let's split up. Try to flank them. Yeah, better odds that way. I don't like it. Talbot isn't here. Well, I see Talbot now. Sully. Sully! No! What, he dead again? That water pressure gun, is it coming into use anytime soon? Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. we've got to go. Run! Come on, son. Get up. Come on. So it wasn't the entirety of water pressure gone, but I don't think so. I don't know if it's impossible. This is why we can't have nice things. Come on, we gotta move. But it felt pretty impossible to. Not swallow any of that water when that happened. Oh shit! 
the hell, man? This is bad. Are you shitting me? Man, Sully, get out of the way! Right between the legs. Not hiding in the right angle, Nate. Well, place is coming down. I have a nickel. Everybody out. Can I have a nickel too? Because Okay. There we go. No, not GMAT. Keep moving. I'm going to have a slow ass fist fight with you during this life and death moment. Ah, uh, just do it. They won't catch up. Okay, I guess we climb up for some reason. Are we gonna get out of here? Wait, the gears! Sully, we're gonna have to ride these up, alright? Sure. But, okay, the, the the upper way is over here, I guess. Ah, Sully, that was a bad idea! Right in the ass. I still think this is a good choice. Over here, Sully. Up this way. Oh, this is how. Oh, uh, Nathan.
Oh, okay. I'm not meant to get this high. Ah! Where's Sully? Is he way ahead or behind me? Oh, he's ahead of me. Hey, Sully, glad to see you okay. Uh, you take care of the one up downstairs, okay? I trust you. Oh, man. And then one else feels like shooting me. Where is even Sully? Like, 60% of the game is saving Sully somehow. Ooh. Sorry, my bad, this is my curse. We have the saver, don't and we? We are the good guys. Francis sent it from Elizabeth. Prove your greatness. I got nothing to prove. Harry, give me a hand. You can't just let her die. Harry can't. Hey, give me your goddamn hand. <sighs> Here. Robin. This. The hell are you doing? I can't. Being a hero, Sully. It's no good. It's my destiny. Well, we gotta at least go for the ring. Nate! If not for oh! her. Run. Okay. Up here. So we're Hurry temporarily forgetting Sorry, about her. The whole place is coming down. Well, we tried, so our conscience is clear. <laughs> Why do we keep destroying good places? Nathan Drake, why can't you just let his leave history alone? <laughs> Dude, that fucking hurts, man. A oh, one of us is going to kill each other with that spear. Okay. You thought this was a knife fight? 
What jokes on you, buddy? This is a bit slap competition, and I am the champion. Ow. <laughs> it's not even giving me when it when it even wasn't giving me any indication for quick time events. I was like pressing this circle button like mad. Oh, this is just a thousand years of trouble. Sully! Hold on! Time to end you, son. Okay, I think I may have shot at Sully a few times, but overall that was okay. Bye, Talbot. Thanks, kid. Here we go again. What do you mean targeted easy? This was not an easy mode. Okay. Huh? <laughs> it's the same tale every well. time. It's always a, a, either a metaphor or. Okay, we got a few bucks. It's not much, is it? It's enough. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> we are so dedicated to de destroy every culture. So that was it, right? I'm throwing the controller away if it's over, so let's make sure. Yeah. Time to watch the movie. Hey, hold up a minute, Nate. You okay? Yeah. Are you? Yeah, I just got something I need saying, that's all. All right. What is it? Look, I, um, I had a lousy father, a lousy childhood. I hit 40, I figured I was never gonna have a son of my own. Hell, I never oh, wanted one. This is one of those. How do speeches. I know about raising a kid? <laughs> then you came barreling into my life. Look, you don't have to. No, listen, I do. I have made a lot of mistakes, kid. A lot. <laughs> and, uh, well, I am not a perfect man. You're not proposing, are you, Sally? <laughs> I mean, I love you, uh, but... Stop. <laughs> Just stop being a wise-ass for one second. How long have you been carrying that around? Too long. Thought I'd lost it. Here's the thing, kid. We don't get to choose how we start in this life. Real greatness... It's what you do with the hand you dealt. Oh. Hey. Hey. So this Going is somewhere? how it's happening. Huh? Maybe. I'm really sorry about your ring. Yeah. It's all right. I swapped it for something better.
<laughs> Let's get out of here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we're this way. But... Come on. Trust me. <laughs> Is this cigar even lit? What are you up to? I don't really see him puffing that cigar. <laughs> no way. Eh, it's not oh, as nice as on. the one you two wrecked four years ago, but it'll do. <laughs> come on. Let's see if I can remember how to fly the goddamn thing. Hey, this has parachutes, right? Oh, yeah. Three. And more or less. Um... Or we can just use one big one. So that was Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. Hmm. Well, that not only concludes this particular game, but it also concludes my playthrough of the Nathan Drake Collection. So next time we'll be on to the number 4. Okay, as is tradition, this is where I dial down the game's music and have a speech of my own that I'm pretty sure nobody will ever get to hear. Okay, um, what do I think of this game? Overall, I think it's very solid. Uh, the, my favorite aspect is that it focuses its story so much on the relationship between Nathan and Sully. And that makes this whole story very personal. Even though this whole villain quest of... Uh, I already forgot his name. Atlantis in the Sands, that's what they called it. This whole plot of stopping yet another potential world ending event doesn't have a lot of resonance with the personal side of the story. I think it's um, that, that kind of dissonance is to be expected from stories like this, and w the whole Nathan Sully st story is done really well. Even though I feel like it played the card of Sully in danger a little too frequently. I mean, how many times did we think he was in some kind of jeopardy? First, we thought he was going to uh, he was abducted by those pirates. Even though I never bought into all that, then then he then we found out he actually is. Okay, that's a lot of studios he got to thank for Guerrilla Games, Sony Santa Monica. Okay, never mind. What I'm saying is, uh, uh, oh yeah, and then we found out that he really was abducted, except it's not by the pirates, it's by the, the bad guys, by Marlo and the lot. And then we rescued him, and then we thought he died. I mean, okay, I still did not buy into that. Because I've played the fourth one, I know he's in the first one, fourth one, so he's alive in the well. So it, it's a kind of a spoiler I put on myself by playing the fourth one first. Because I know that nothing is going really going to happen to Sully that's going to stick. Even so, it, it feels like uh, at uh, ever since like maybe we've hit the forty percent mark, it's constantly about saving Sully, and I've have a feeling that even if it's someone unlike me who have played the next game. Someone who played this way back then for the first time would never for one single second believe Sully was in any kind of real danger. Because it's been done too many times. I mean, the f it's not even the first in the franchise either. The first game kind of started with a with, with a fake scenario that Sully was, was shot by... I don't, don't remember the villain to that game. Uh, I like that... Uh, Gameplay-wise, I feel like it's 
very similar to the last one more or less a little bit more streamlined perhaps but overall it's basically the same thing it, which is a little disappointing but I guess it it's also it also makes sense they belong to the same generation and they came out two years apart two years is awfully a short production time for a triple a video game especially made by one studio I mean we know annual releases from run franchises uh, like Assassin's Creed or Call of Duty but they are made by separate studios separate sub studios and this is all Naughty Dog so I'm not surprised that the third one is not exactly a giant leap from what the second one achieved a little bit something I command the second one over th th this particular one is the pacing felt a lot more smoother in the second game and pacing really is a bit of a problem in this one to be honest with you it felt like the first half is very slow paced which I I don't mind slow paced games and the second half is very ha fast paced and I don't mind a fast paced game either the, the point is you, you kinda wanna pace them out because it really feels like the first half is all puzzles I mean not really it, it is all of them uh, it always has been a uh, combination of puzzles and action but the first half had a few moments where it just feels like it's one puzzle after another after another after another with very few things in between maybe a one minute cutscene or just traveling from one uh, ancient hall to another temple and then to solve another puzzle and none of these puzzles make a lot of sense but that's not really a point of complaints with these games and they never make sense they have never made sense and they never will uh, the most memorable part of this game I think I think the part that's gonna stick with me for a very long time is the train uh, the sorry the ship level which I constantly compare to the train level in the second game because they really are kind of comparable there are both levels set in a specific scenario that uh, goes on for quite a bit of a long time and they both incorporate pretty much the entire spectrum of gameplay in the Uncharted franchise uh, platforming um, you know, sh shooting, third person, run and gun, bomb, bombarding, uh, outlandish action sequences, mimicking beyond even what Michael Bay would dream of, and boss fights. They, it's all they're presenting in both of these situations, and it's kind of hard for me to pick a. F uh, pick a favor between these two because I really liked both of them But I'm gonna have to take the train level of the ship one simply because The train level felt more relevant to the whole scenario to the whole story And I think there's a very good reason I feel that way Remember the second game started With how the train level ended as in Nathan derailed the whole train and we we started that game with Nathan waking up in the train injured and dangling over a cliff and we have to climb back up then we jumped back to see how the story came to that point so it it felt incredibly relevant when we when we were even pre started to prepare to board the train and then we boarded the train that we went through one hell of a battle on the train it all felt almost like marching towards your own destiny it, it felt like there was a purpose and you know you're get, getting somewhere the train level on this narrative standpoint is the exact opposite to that it was it was a subplot it was a subplot of a subplot it was entirely about the pirate that we some for some reason had to deal with in between this whole Marlow and Talbot mess and it felt like it was a cool level that the developers envisioned 
Maybe they imagined the whole game around it. But they couldn't really... F but after they have decided on a story, they couldn't really find a place to put this level in there. So they just conjured up this pirate character out of nowhere and... And invented this whole thing about them lying about kidnapping Sully and... It's kind of a mess and you know that's not going to... You know that's not going to stick, you know that's not... Uh, they don't really have Sully, at least I didn't. And I felt like it's pretty obvious that I doubt anyone would actually fall for that. And after that, it's back to the whole Marlo and Talbot conspiracy again, and we have to save Sully for real this time. It felt like the, tr the ship level is... It can be taken out of this game, and it would still be a complete game. Of course, it would be a lesser game, because that level was awesome. So, I think overall... I definitely... Uh, the second game is definitely the, my favorite of the trilogy, but I like this one a lot too. It has some really... Uh, it has some really exciting sequences. The chase... The... Actually, all of the chases are done really well, including including when Nathan was still a child. Again, I really adore the flashback sequences because it shines a lot on Nathan and the Sally's relationship. Hmm. Do you think I've talked enough? It is still going. You know, I keep hoping that one of these days when I giving this end of game review speeches I would come to a perfect point of conclusion exactly when the cast ends but that's not gonna happen because th the cast is only getting longer so some of the frustrations from gameplay I feel like is a little more poignant than the second game I remember in the second game, my biggest complaint is has more or less been about the platforming because I felt in that game the platforming wasn't made very obvious. Sometimes they have the uh, misleading instructions or this or for this or that reason, I had a lot more trouble finding out exactly where to climb in the second game, and I wasted a lot of time just jumping around, trying to climb each wall, and that was kind of frustrating but in this one I feel like most of my frustrations came from actual f action sequences fighting with particularly about the part which I complained about during my playthrough is when uh, they added this whole melee system into the game I mean it's not really completely new they had some semblance of that in the second game not much not as prominent while the cast is ended, I'm still going. It's a lot more prominent in the third game, and I, at first I felt it was really refreshing that we have a hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat is now a major part of Uncharted. That's great, because it's set... Uncharted, at, I, I've, I've always believed that at its best, Uncharted is when it makes you feel like you're in a Hollywood action movie, and no qualified Hollywood action movie can do without actual punching. That's always been a big part. And I'm glad Uncharted finally caught up to that. But then problems started to arise when they tried to integrate the same mechanic in the gunfight sequences. That became a major problem because the they don't... These two sequences, while they work fairly well independently, they don't necessarily marry to each other very smoothly. When you have a gunfight, it's incredibly frustrating when enemies charge at you physically even though you both have a gun in your, each other's hands and start to wrestle with each other. And when you wrestle with each other, it's hard to control exactly where you're standing, what you're doing, and how long it takes. It can take a long time to punch a person down and while you're still taking bullets from all the other enemies. 
so maybe you, you think just just don't get into a fist fight it's not always up to you for some reason these enemies really know that you would be locked into these fighting animations and they take advantage of that and they would just run towards you and start a fist fight for out of, out of no out of nowhere out of no reason and it does work it's not like it didn't work it killed me multiple times but it works because the, the, I feel stupid like I'm talking about I'm saying this about f some computer controlled characters but they felt it feels like it feels, feels like they are taking advantage of the game's mechanics which you would expect to be a comment on human players in multiplayer games but I'm complaining this about computers I'm sure there are lots of people who can do better than me. I don't claim to be a skillful gamer. The amount of times I've died on Uncharted games on normal difficulty has already proved that beyond any shadow of a doubt. But, you know, I know this review has mostly been me ranting about things, but don't take the length of renting as a percentage of me disliking the game I really like the game it's just it, 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 I got it's easier to talk about things that you don't like I don't know why it's the negativity of human nature I, I guess the good part they don't I can't really just go on talking about them yes the scenery is still beautiful the action still feels pretty smooth except when you have to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat you see there I go again but I have talked long enough more than long enough so I am going to conclude this playthrough finally of Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception and the Nathan Drake collection let me just take a moment to see whether what bonuses did I get story cutscenes and rewards not a lot oh how about a static statistics I didn't do any speed run I killed 818 enemies and Nathan Drake is supposed to be the good guy but only <laughs> only managed to kill 79 without failing I failed 64 times really that's fucking pathetic okay a few of them I threw in myself for comedic purposes the hate ratio is mm, not very good no, not bad for headshots though I have five headshots in a row that's awesome I mean the hate ratio this looks pretty good if you if this is the sh the shot percentage of a basketball player and it has to be a guard it's still shit if it's a center yes I used Gmo to kill 32 enemies if I had used I I'm sure those 32 enemies would have been way more if I had used anything more competent which essentially means any other weapon there's another complaint that I did, didn't uh, that I didn't talk about back then is this weapon really is shit it's fucking worthless and it's so prevalent it's almost hard to not pick it up I've been avoiding it all game long and I still killed 32 with it Okay, well, why is it so shitty? Because it forces you to shoot three three bullets at the same time at a time. You, you can't just shoot one. You can shoot consecutively, like with an AK-47 or pretty much any other rifle with this game. And you would think with such a limit on your shooting mode, it would deal more damage. It doesn't. You can shoot th all three bullets on an. Uh, on the face or chest of an enemy soldier and they would live they would not die from one single stroke of uh, bullets 
and then you're left with that precious one second in between where you can't do anything and then you get killed. It really is fucking worthless. Hand to hand combat, I defeated 150 hand to hand combat. Oh my god, hand. I mean, it's fun while it lasted, but it's not a very efficient way. I'm sure that extended my playtime considerably. Hmm, 90 by explosives, that's not bad. You know, a lot of games I just completely forget about the grenades or other explosive weapons. I'm glad I resorted to them pretty frequently this game. Total time spent playing 7 hours and 45 minutes. <sighs> That's not too bad, I guess. Okay, I'm really gonna sign up now. This has been going quite long enough. Really enjoy this game and we're going to be playing Uncharted 4 next. Now I can't I can't wait for that. That shit is awesome. That's my first PS4 game. I bought the PS4 pretty much for a very large reason to to play that game. And it's one of the games that I actually have a physical copy of. Ta-da! See that? That's... Uh, for all your kids out there who doesn't know what a physical copy is, this is a disc! You stick it into your gaming console and they... And you think you don't have to download anything, but you do. Ah, that's what modern gaming is all about. One of its inconveniences that I don't really like, but overall I really like the modern way of playing games. <sighs> I really need to end this stream, but I love you guys so much I don't want to. Anyway, see you next time. See you in Uncharted 4. Really happy to have you here. Thanks for watching.